Hey everyone, how's it going? Happy Monday. Um, I had to like try this a couple times. It's so windy outside and my connection was not doing its thing. So I'm glad I got on. Let's hope it doesn't like pop out or anything. That would not be cool. Hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Yay. Oh, I was saying it took me a minute to get on. It's so windy outside and like the internet must have been kind of going out a little bit. I was like, no, you must connect. <laughs> you must. So today we're going to go over our weekly um, telescopes and um, like the last couple of weeks, I've been also pulling an Oracle card with the tarot card and um it's really been working out well so i'm just gonna keep doing it until i decide not to and that's it i'm joking um but this week actually i'm going to pull a um chakra card for each one so we'll see what maybe what chakra you need to focus on um you know and all that good stuff i'm assuming everyone can hear me okay and all of that um but first I have to show you, I got some new crystals and they're really cute. Um, I have quite a few. Yeah. I think we all kind of have a few, right? But lately I've been looking for like, like carved ones and I have to show you like how cute this is. Look, it's a little tiny Buddha. Look how cute he is. So this is a quartz one. It is so cute. It's like super detailed. You can't see because my lights are reflecting off of it. But, and then look at, I got a hematite Groot. Look at that. Isn't he amazing? <laughs> He's so cute. And then the other one I got was a, like one of those little lucky cats. Look how cute. It's like one of those little happy, the lucky cats. So yeah, so I know you guys understand the obsession, so I need to show you. And this is a solidite um, moon. It's like a little moon face, right? Super cute. So yeah, that's that. Um, I will be using today um, the Mons Tarot. And I actually have the app of this on my phone. Um, just when I'm out and about or just real quick because it's so stinking adorable and it's kind of funny because when people are pregnant and they haven't really if they're going to find out the sex of their baby or whatever and they will ask me I always go to this deck and I don't know why and it's been right every time so this is kind of my predicting deck I guess it oh it never it never steers me wrong never never but um, look at the inside of this. It has these adorable little guys. It's a great deck. And this is by Joanna Nelson. And I know she's got some other things in the works, so I'm sure I will have those as well at some point. I actually just backed a couple of decks on Kickstarter, so I'm super excited about those. And one, I was waiting for, and they had so many problems with COVID stuff that um, finally it looks like it's shipping out. So I'm excited about that one. So you will see that soon. And these cards are really big. Like, look how big. I mean, I have a tiny hand, so it takes me a minute to shuffle them. <laughs> but um, also at any time, if you guys want me to pull a card for you, just let me know down in the comments. Um, you know, if a general one or if you have a question, I could certainly do that for you. And my name is Jen. Um, I own Stardust Wanderer Tarot. And you can go ahead and visit me over on my Instagram page as well. I'm always doing something over there. And I'm here every Monday, um, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 noon Eastern time for your weekly tarot scopes. And also, um, I am creating a deck as well. And I am creating the deck with Seven Stones Publishing, who owns Cardamancer Magazine. So I am... Um, I'm very excited. They are awesome. All of them are so fantastic to work with. And um, doing, I'm going to be in the June issue. I have an article in there. Um, I was in the December issue to talking about tarot and crystals. So um, you can definitely go on their website um, at thecardamancer.com and look those up if you want. 
So that is what we have, and let's get us started. Actually, let me get my Oracle deck out. And I have in my bio at the Stardust Wanderer Tarot too, um, a notification to when I get the Kickstarter going, I'm gonna send that out to everyone. I have, I just got the Wheel of Fortune card back and oh my gosh, it's amazing. We were talking about making it into a t-shirt as well. Like that's something I definitely will be doing. I wanna make journals and all the things because it's really awesome and I really am excited to start sharing with everyone. So we have like, I don't know, I think 15 or 16 cards right now. We're getting there, we're getting there. You know, it takes, it really takes, you know, you're my artist, she's Carol Phillips, she's fantastic. And it takes, it takes a minute to make these cards. And of course, my brain, there's a lot going on in there. And I have a lot of details I want in there and a lot of different elements and stuff like that. So she has been so awesome doing that. So I'm going to um, also pull a chakra card from the Chakra Wisdom Oracle. So that's, well, it matches my nails by Tori Hartman. And I actually use these a lot too when I um, do Reiki. Um, they're really, they're really great to have. And it has like kind of a story with it, but we'll just, we'll just talk about the chakra part of it, I think. All right. So Aries, you are up first. What do we have for you? Queen of Swords. So this week for you, Aries, it is about taking charge of your words, saying what you mean, meaning what you say, and make sure it's coming from a place where you are just feeling it. Like that is what you want. That is how you want it. And don't even be apologetic about it because this week it's time for you to forge ahead with that. That's what I have for you, Aries. Let's see what card chakra we need to work on. So this is a sacral chakra. Um, that's all about, um, just like your, your confidence, how, you, how you feel about yourself. And I really like how this kind of ties into that because again, it's, it's digging deep and really deciding how you feel about things and how you want things to go. So working on your sacral chakra will help that along this week. So that could be, you know, here, this card is about service. So it's helping others. So maybe there's somebody that really needs some advice that you can help out with. Um, wearing orange is great. Eating orange foods is great. Um, you know, any sort of crystals, orange crystals um, or quartz, because quartz is kind of like, it's like the lavender in herbs is like, it's good for everything. That's how quartz is, right? So that is something to think about this week. And thinking about like just maybe just putting yourself out there. That's what I really, that's what I'm getting. And that's what we're going to go with. <laughs> All right. So next up, we have Taurus. All right. I hope everybody did well with this new moon that we just had over the weekend in Pisces. So all the feels and then the feels on the feels. But this was a really good moon to really work on um, just self-compassion right um creativity dreaming big and seeing what you can do to really move that ahead you know and it's not too late you could still do that you can work with the moon's energy three days after so today if you haven't set any intentions yet what creative intention can you set out into the universe that's something to ponder all right taurus what do we got for you we have the two of wands so this week um is about decisions for you so you may have you know, you may have to make a decision that you've been putting off for a while. So this may be something that you're like, oh, I'm going to take care of this next week. I'm going to take care of this next week. Nope, Taurus, this week is the time. It is time for you to make that decision, own it, and go with it. So that's what we have for you, Taurus. Oh, and you're welcome. So let's see what chakra you Tauruses need to be looking at this week. And we have green. So that would be the heart chakra. So for you, you know, I think with this card, you know, you have to make that decision 
and follow your heart. Really pay attention to what your heart is telling you and which way your heart is directing you and what you need to be doing. So I think that is something that you really need to pay attention to this week for sure. So heart chakra stuff, again, green foods, wearing green, green crystals. Um, and I think too, just, and even just opening your heart chakra, right? Just seeing it like your arms open and just opening it up. Cause we all tend to hunch over, especially if we're stressed, you know, or, or you know, even here, like Taurus, you may have to make that decision and you're just like, oh, hunched over. No, open up, straighten that back, pull those shoulders back and own this. So that's who we have for you in your heart chakra this week, Taurus. Oh my gosh, it's so windy outside. I just hear it whipping away. All right. So next we have Gemini. So Gemini, what do we have for you? Gemini is the hang monster. Look how cute that is. <laughs> I love these cards. They're so stinking adorable. Um, for you, so Gemini this week, it's you need to get out of your head right? You're, whatever is going on, whatever you're overthinking, it's time to take your yourself down off your little branch and really start to move forward again. You're stuck and that's okay. Sometimes we get stuck. So think about how you can unstuck yourself. <laughs> if that even made sense, right? Unstick yourself, I guess. But what action steps can you take to do that? So that's something um, that you could think about this week, Gemini. What steps can you take to help you be unstuck and really, you know, get out of that that repeating pattern that you have going in your head? So that is what I have for you. Let's see what Oracle card we got. All right. So we have another, we have another um, heart chakra card. So for you this week, I think, again, it, I think it goes, I just put that card back in the deck, but with the hangman, you know, and that repeating pattern in your head that you kind of have to get out of, it's all about you not being the victim, not playing the victim, not feeling the victim, because that's maybe what's keeping you stuck. So that's really something to consider. And it's always something like you may not want to consider that. You may not be like, I'm not being a victim, but that may be what's it. So just touch on it and see if that's something that is bugging you this week that is keeping you stuck and hanging. All right, so next we have, next we have Cancer. All right, Cancer. Cancer, we have the Ace of Wands. I love these. They're just, even the colors in these cards are so cute. So for Ace of Wands, um, what are you beginning? What's, you know, this is a great card to get today, especially now that we are, you know, going through that new moon energy. What intentions are you setting out for this new moon cycle? What are you going to be using to move forward? What action steps are you going to take? And what new things await you? That's really what it is, right? Like go ahead and take that step and see what is out there and what you can manifest and bring in this month. And it's kind of nice, too, because um, the planets are all kind of behaving at the moment. They're all just kind of chill. So it's a great time for us to do all the things because of that. I mean, we should never be scared of what's going on in the planets, but hey, it helps, right? So for you, Cancer, we have perseverance. So another sacral chakra card. So for you, it's just pushing through and moving forward. Like that is perfect for this ace of wands. So again, for you, um, wearing orange, um, doing a mantra, like I am worthy. I am able, I can do this, make it a screensaver. Um, even orange flowers, um, just being around that color too will really help to activate your sacral chakra and that can move you forward and move you to go ahead and do those awesome things that are waiting for you out there. And next we have Leo. All right, Leo. So for Leo, oh my gosh, we got the Ace of Wands again. I just totally shuffled. It's so funny when that happens. I think I shuffle well. <laughs> So for you, Leo, 
use that fiery energy and get things started this week. And for you, I feel like it's more of like a home energy. I feel like you need to really, you know, maybe there's something in your house that you need to get started or clear out or move around. Um, so that is something to think about. And I, I do think for you, Leos, this is more towards your house. Like that's just really what's popping in my head. And you know, we're right around spring. So it's a great time to start kind of clearing stuff out, clearing some energy out. I need to do that like a lot. All right. So for you, we have blue. So we have isolation and that is I'm going to look because I think blue in this deck is, um, the blue and the purple always confuse me of what they are. So I believe, yeah, this is for, this is third eye then. So for you, it's all about, I think, clearing that space so that you don't feel so closed in. Um, so I think for you, again, I, I just really like the home just keeps popping in my head. So open, you know, maybe if you sit down and you think about close your eyes and just, you know, relax yourself and see your house through your third eye. See what you feel like energetically needs to be cleared out. So paying attention, you know, pay attention to that this week for you, Leo, is what in your house can you clear out to clear out that extra energy? So there we go. Hello. We have next, it is, the wind is so whipping out there. I'm waiting for like branches to hit my window. <laughs> All right, let's see. We'll give these guys a good shuffle. Um, So we have next is Virgo. And I have so many Virgos in my life. I love my Virgos and my Scorpios, so many of them. All right. So let's see what we got for you, Virgo. We have the Eight of Cups. So this guy is really just leaving behind what doesn't he doesn't need. Like there's, you know, and that's this week, what you need to pay attention to this week. Virgo, what don't you need anymore? What can you leave behind to move forward and thinking clearly and really moving on to the next thing? Like maybe something needs to end and a situation needs to just be put there and you need to meet, you need to leave it behind and move forward. So what steps can you take to get to that point? Like what, even if it's a small thing and it doesn't all happen during this week, what can, you know, what little things can you do? And that could just be even saying no to something that you usually just say yes to because like that's, you're, you're used to doing that. So maybe practicing saying no to something Virgo this week. So, Let's see what chakra card you get. So that is, again, that third eye. So workaholic, right? So maybe it's work-related. Maybe you are feeling like you're getting taken advantage of or they're giving you all these tasks that you normally don't do and they aren't really in your job description. So maybe this week it's time to start moving ahead and deciding what you could do about it. And again, little steps, you know, that's what it could be for you, Virgo. So we are, let me take a step here. I have my little Yoda cup today. Look how cute he is. I think my dog, I think my dog's outside barking in the wind. She's so clever. She's 14. She's going to be 14 next week. Her name is Lola, and she's a big Yorkie, like a full-size Yorkie. So I say big, but 13 pounds isn't that big. I have two other dogs, so Ivan and Luna, and they're tiny, tiny. Luna's only three and a half pounds, and Ivan's like four and a half. And they are the biggest babies ever. They really are. It's so ridiculous sometimes. <laughs> oh, but my kids just spoil them, too. All right, so Libra we have next. What do you got for you, Libra? Okay. I just want to show you the card backs, too. I love it. I just love these cards. So for you, Libra is the hermit. So this week for you may be all about practicing self-care, 
um, making sure making sure to kind of just rest easy and hang out and not do anything anything too big. You know, really maybe think about your next move of how you want the rest of your month to go. Think about your intentions. And really, it's more like a thinking week for you. It's not so much action. It's more just rest and reflection. So that's what we have for you, Libra. Let's see what shocker card we got. We got dissipating. So that is a solar plexus. So for the solar plexus is more like about confidence um, and just just like owning it, you know. And I think this week for the hermit, I, it's it's an interesting combination too because sometimes you have to have the confidence to be able to not do anything and to rest, right? Like you have to be confident enough to be like everything's going to be fine. And sometimes that's hard to do. And so this, you know, and I like how she's, we have our, our granny just hanging out with her bird, watching TV. So that's what we need to do. We need to be the little guy and we need to be the granny this week, just hanging out, watching our crime shows, and that's it, right? Um, so for solar plexus, you know, um, again, any sort of like citrine is good, um, crystal wise. Um, again, yellow foods, yellow, wearing yellow, um, anything that's going to really remind you to just step into your confidence and pay attention to it, like pay attention to your instincts and your intuition and trust that. So like I would be watching, if that were me, I'd probably be watching Dexter because I've been binging that for a long time now. I'm almost caught up. But when I first started watching it, it was really funny because I just started watching it in like December. And I don't know why I never watched it before. But I'm like thinking to myself, these people are, why do they have flip phones? Like why is it set in a different time? Like I couldn't understand it. And then I realized the show started in like 2003 or something. And I was like, oh. But I felt really silly because I didn't realize that. <laughs> I'm like, I couldn't, because they were ignoring me flipping the phones all the time. Like it was so, it was kind of funny. It was just like nice, Jen. All right, so next we have Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, what do we got for you? So we have three of wands. So for you this week, um, it's, I think again, it's like I've got a lot of wands energy going on, moving forward and really just, just deciding what it is, what action you wanna take, um, making that decision, owning the decision, and then moving forward. And what action are you going to take to really set things into motion? Um, I feel like there's just a lot of that, a lot of that going on today with these cards. And I feel like it definitely has something to do with the new moon. So, um, you know, also working together with somebody and maybe there are other people like instead of leaving things behind, maybe those are two people that or that are supportive of you. And you know that no matter what you do and what, what you you know, what you start going forward that you'll have, you do have some support behind you. So for me, that looks like more of like a supportive thing for sure. Whoa, something just fell. It's so windy outside. Hi, how are you? I'm listening to things like knocking around outside. It's so windy. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if you guys can hear that, but all right. So back on track. Where was I? We were on Scorpio, we had three of wands for my Scorpios. Um, and the card we got for you is um, a chakra, the sacral, um, no, this is the solar plexus chakra. So for you this week, as you know, I feel like knowing that you have, you can make the decisions you wanna make, that you do have people standing behind it. Yeah, no, that's a good thing. Like I couldn't log on before, because it was it, c it wouldn't like connect and I almost thought my internet was out and then it started again but my dog's out there barking at the wind but I just I hear like things flying around it's so crazy um no actually I'm on Scorpio you are right in time right on time so for you this week solar plexus um I am on Scorpio um so Scorpios you know and I I think prayer here is an interesting card too and I don't I don't know that I feel like it is more about setting a mantra that you have confidence that you can do what you need to do during the week and not and knowing that you do have backup. 
and relying on that backup, using the backup, right? Because sometimes we know we have backup, but we just don't use it and we should. And I even can say that for myself because I'm really bad at asking for help. I think a lot of us are though, right? All right. Next we have Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, Ace of Cups. So for you this week, um, what what are you going to start? What is what is your new beginning this week going to be? And I feel, again, that's all about with this new moon energy coming up and all of that, um, paying attention to how you feel about your week going forward and paying attention to your feelings. Um, are, if new feelings are popping up for you, you know, examine them. Like, why? Why do I feel like this? Why do these situations make me feel this way? And I think diving a little bit into that this week for you, um, Sagittarius, would be good. So next we have your card here. So this is the crown chakra card. So gratitude. Um, and maybe that's what this card, you know, is calling for you to do too. Like, Decide how you're feeling about certain situations and, and just everything going on around you and practicing some extra gratitude because, you know, anytime we want to bring anything in, we have to practice gratitude. That is just part of the process and that really helps you to bring more good things in, right? Now we are to Capricorn. Yay. All right. I'm just going to shuffle. These cards are like huge, so it takes me a minute to shuffle them. I can't like do fancy shuffling with these guys, but I do love them. All right, so Capricorn, we have the lovers. Look how cute this card is, I can't. So for you this week, Capricorns, you know, yeah, I know, look how cute this card is though. Like I can't even look, even in the tree, there's like a little heart. <laughs> I just totally realized that. I love that. That's what I love about tarot cards is every time I do a reading for someone or even just using them for this, I always notice something new in the card and that always makes me so happy. So for you this week, Capricorn, it's all about relationships. It's all about, you know, and I think too is appreciating relationships and showing that appreciation, even just by sending a simple text to someone and it doesn't necessarily need to be a spouse or a partner. It could be a friend. It could be a relative. Maybe you haven't heard from someone in a while. Send them send them a quick message and just say hi and that you're thinking about them. So for you this week, Capricorn, it's embracing the love. That's who we got for you. All right. So let's see what chakra card pops out here. I just almost threw them all over. All right. Here we go. So interesting. So I had the so we got the heart chakra card. So which goes really well, obviously, with that, with the lovers. Um, it's it's this one's um speaking more about grief though. So maybe maybe even reaching out to a relationship that maybe isn't the greatest for you this right now. Maybe it's time for you to really digest this relationship, decide how you want to feel about it, and let maybe let some feelings go and really clear that away and really take that lover's card serious. Like, okay, you know, I haven't heard from this person in a while. I kind of lost connection with that person, but maybe it's time for me to kind of put some feelings aside, open my heart up, and move forward. So that is things to think about there, Capricorn. It actually would be really good for journaling too. All right, so moving on to Aquarius. Woo, all right, well, we had a jumper, so let's see what we got here. So Aquarius, we have the Wheel of Fortune. And for you, you have so many, you have options. There are options all laid out in front of you, and you may not be seeing them right now. You may feel like you only have one or two, but if you step back from the situation and really take a different a look from a different view or even ask somebody else, you know, listen, I feel like these are my only situation, like these are my only, you know, options. Are there more options for me? Oh, you're very welcome. So I think that is something to pay attention to. Like maybe, maybe there are more options than you are really seeing and me reaching out to somebody because sometimes when there's a new fresh set of eyes on something, then you are able, you know, they, they'll see something that you're not. So that is something for you, Aquarius, to think about. 
And the chakra card we got is faith. So I like that, you know, to go with this. And again, that's um, a crown chakra card. So um, really any clear crystals, any, um, geez, any crystals that like amethyst would be really great is a great crown crystal, anything like that. Um, and I think having faith that they're there, that you will be able to make whatever decisions you have to make and that there are options out there and that, you know, somebody else can really help you see more things, you know, see things more clearly. So that's that. And next we have Pisces. All right, Pisces, what do we got for you? So again, we have the three of wands again. We're just like pulling all the same cards today. So for you, Pisces, this week, um, I feel like it's a little bit different than when I pulled it before. I feel like this is more of a, um, it's time to kind of open up your mind and open up um, your thoughts on a situation. Um, I feel like, you know, for me on this with this pull, even though it's the same card, I am getting a different energy for Pisces for it. So, you know, you, you already know what you know, right? And we get stuck in that, that becomes a habit. But this week, I think you need to expand your horizons. And maybe, um, again, that may be just communicating with others. That may be something, um, maybe a little more research on a situation, but don't get stuck in what just what you know, because there's so much knowledge out there and there's so many people who would love to share knowledge with you and be open to that. So that's why I got for you, Pisces. <clears throat> so let's do a chakra card again. Balance. So that is great. I love that. So it's all about balance, right? Of what you know and what you can what you can be open to and what you can learn about so um it's finding that that balance of that because you do know a lot and you know what you, you're doing and sometimes though that could be you get stuck in that rut so expand your horizons this week pisces <clears throat> that's what i have for you so yeah that's that's what we got this week i hope you guys have a fantastic week um be sure to to visit me over on Stardust Wanderer Tarot and say hi. And I will um, be back here next week at the same time. And hopefully you guys come back and hang out. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.